Howdy y'all, this is Round the Wheel with Round the Wheel Industries, a limited liability company. And today, Uncle Roundy is once again cracking a pack. Today, it's good old Battle Bond. We want to try to hit some of that good stuff. I am really starting to like this set. Uh, I've only opened a couple packs from it, and they've both been on this channel. But you know, every time I open it, it's like, when am I going to be opening the next Battle Bond pack? And today, the answer to that is, right now. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is another kind of baggy pack. I've been getting those from my local game store lately. Uh, the just the packs are the packs are not very tightly tightly wound. We got the uh, right here. We've got the warrior, the token right out front, the one one warrior, which tells me we're going to have to uh, turn this pack around after the land in order not to see what the rare is right out front. We got a mountain on fire right there. Just a just a volcano in the middle of the state. Of it terraformed and flew up right in the middle there and everything very very bizarre how bizarre all right so we are going to switch the rare to the back go one two three with the uncommons and put the rare this time i'm going to actually put the rare behind the uncommons so there we go we have we have our order and we begin with rebuke which destroys a target attacking creature that is indeed a rebuke but boy he looks like he's having a Having a little bit of heartburn there. Uh, sorry, dude. I know what that's like. Uh, you got the Water Courser and Elemental. For one blue, Water Courser gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. So, essentially. Switches power and toughness. Well, not really, because you can do that as many times as you want. As you have, as long as you have open blue mana. But you don't want to do it too many times, because then he'll just kill himself. On account of having zero toughness. Screeching Buzzard. Black plus three. A 2-2 two -two bird. When Screeching Buzzard dies, each opponent discards a card mm. very nasty indeed bathe in dragon fire i prefer to bathe in uh shampoo and body soap it's much cleaner but bathing in dragon fire deals four damage to target creatures so if i need to do that i will indeed bathe in that oh oh we got a crab mr little's gonna be happy riptide crab blue plus white plus one a one three crab with vigilance when riptide crab dries dies when it dries, uh, that probably means it's been out of water too long. But no, you draw a card. Omen Speaker, little little town scryer right there. The Crawl Warrior for six mana gets plus three, plus three until in a turn. I don't know if that's a worthwhile investment. Got the Sorcery. Got to huddle up. Huddle up. Make a game plan. It's got Assist. Another player can pay up to two generic of this spell's cost. Two target players. Each draw a card. Uh, that could be very political. Uh... Lightning Talons, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus three, plus zero, and has First Strike. That's my kind of enchantment right there. Just just Red Aura putting the screws to him. Got the Hex Plate Golem, a Vanilla 5-7 Artifact Golem. That's not terribly exciting. But what is exciting is moving on to the Uncommons. Solemn Offering. White plus two, destroy target artifact or enchantment. You gain four life. That's a somewhat better than Invoke the Divine, I believe, which I think you only get to destroy an artifact or maybe a creature in your game for life, and it costs like four mana. I don't I don't quite remember, but I just looking at this card makes me immediately want to compare it to Invoke the Divine. And if I remember if I remember Invoke the Divine even semi correctly, this card kind of comes out on top of it. I think I like it a little better. Azra Odds Maker. Red plus black plus one, a three three Azra Warrior. I don't know what the Azra thing is. Um, it's been on cards before. Uh, Kel's Fight Fixer is an Azra Warlock. I don't know what Azra is. Is that like a is that like a sect within within black or something? I don't I'm not entirely sure, but every time I see Azra, it's confusing. Maybe I should just look it up. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may discard a card. If you do, choose a creature. Whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player this turn. You draw two cards. Interesting. Okay, and that's a little, little card fixer there. Cheering Fanatic, a red plus one, two, two goblin. When it attacks, choose a card name. Spells with the chosen name cost one less to cast this turn. Okay, that goblin that goblin cheats out your spells a little better. And coming to our, uh, coming to our rare, which today is Magus of the Candelabra. Green, one, two, human wizard. For X and tap, you untap X target lands. That's not an expensive card, I don't think. I think I was thinking of putting this in yet another red green deck that I had put together. Let me let me go into my 
uh, internet real quick and look at this. I think of, I was thinking of making a, a Nikya of the old ways red and green deck as well. Uh, just really all in on creature and land. And I want to see what, uh, I think that was in this deck. This may have some application in Rada as well. Uh, because the more lands you untap, I could just tap all my lands. And then for X and tap, well, huh. It's kind of kind of odd, but uh, I don't think this is a terribly expensive card because I've been looking at it lately. It's nice to actually run into this. Magus of the Candelabra, yeah, about uh, Card Kingdom is showing 99 cents. So this is not a valuable card, but it does have some value to me as something I've been uh, looking into of late. And now I don't have to acquire it myself because I have a copy of my own. And I am... Uh, very happy with this little card. I, I'm sure I can find some. I'm sure I can find some application for this somewhere. But that is all for today. Join us next time, I believe, uh, if I am correct with the schedule and stuff. That our next uh, pack is going to be provided by a friend of the channel. Uh, if it works out such like as that way, uh, this uh, this Strixhaven box should be gone pretty soon. Uh, and I'm going to be gone right now. I'll see you guys next time for more crack packing shenanigans.